Hey everybody, guess what? That's right, another food because there's still no fifth wheel and nothing to fix. So tonight we're thinking we miss going out for pub grub or anything else that we used to do in the old days. Remember that? Remember going out? Isn't that fun? Well, so tonight we're going to kind of make pub grub for supper. So we're going to do a six ounce sirloin pub steaks. Sure. <laughs> and and french fries and green beans and a salad and i think that's everything yes yeah. so stick around check this out we'll take you on the high speed tour so this video isn't 20 minutes long quick and easy this is how it's done real quick recap on how to vacuum seal. So again, we're just taking, we're just using a little six ounce sirloins today. It's gonna be a healthier type supper. Zip them all the way across, except for the last little bit. Drop them in the water and get all that air out of there, which it does all by itself. When you stick it in here, get it right down to water level, run your thumb across and you have nice sealed shrink wrapped ready to go all right steaks are in they're in swimming in their own little sealed bags as you can see in there i'm going to do these to 128 degrees because we want to be a little less than medium rare just because we're going to pan fry these in the cast iron with a little bit of garlic when we're done we're going to have some nice fresh mushrooms diced up we've got green beans and we're going to blow the diet tonight because we're gonna have french fries. That's right, it's pub night at our place. <laughs> Talk quick about the fresh mushrooms. What are we gonna do? We're gonna hit it with some Five Monkeys orange chili, Liam Perrin's Worcester sauce, Harry Sue's. Uh, this one you haven't seen me use before. This is awesome. Slap your daddy, slap your daddy. Some Code 3 backdraft, need a little heat. A little bit of garlic powder, not salt. A little bit of chipotle sea salt and some black pepper and the magic will happen right here and right now with a little bit of butter you need to start with half as much butter as arkansas woodcutter uses on one slice of bread all right let's hit it fresh ground pepper i already got the salt in there a little bit of garlic powder about that much some code three backdraft give it a little heat Yep, get that in there, get you some of that. Now, Harry Sue, not too much, about half a, half a tablespoon. Worcester, good shot, good shot. Can't overdo the Worcester. And upside down, because it's almost empty. We can't get it open. Now we're gonna give a nice drizzle with a of the five monkeys. Now we're going to just throw the lid on this, let it simmer 15 minutes. For those, anybody in this channel that uh, follows all my cooking or any of my cooking know that I like uh, some nice stuff like my spices, they're not store-bought. And if you've never had traditional balsamic, which is the 18 year aged balsamic, and you're going to see this and you're going to go, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? You're going to get four nice big circles there. Aged balsamic. That, ladies and gentlemen, is today's game changer. Something sharp in there and stir it up. Watch this. Just like old time popcorn. Look at that. Coated, coated everything. Okay? Set your stove on five. What we got going on over here in the pan, this is how we're gonna sear our steaks when we're done. So we're gonna use some rosemary. Always bust your rosemary. Take, you know what, squeeze it. Damage those leaves, damage those leaves so they can actually get some of those oils out. And we'll throw that in that pan and that's gonna be a rosemary butter that we're gonna sear off our steaks in. The quick pro tip, Brad tip, because I'm not a pro member, the Brad tips. When you're doing your mushrooms, okay, now, once you got them cooking down like this nice, put that lid on halfway, you get that steam out of there. You want to reduce that down so you got like a nice thick sauce with those mushrooms. You're going to love it. In on that rosemary butter, get it sizzling away there, flavoring that butter real nice. You just want it to boil up just a little bit and then we're going to turn that up when we're getting ready to drop in our steak. Mushrooms coming along, look at that, look at that. 
Oh yeah. Green beans on the front. Gotta be healthy, gotta have some green beans. Lisa hammered out a couple of wonderful Caesar salads with French's French fried onions on top. That's Lisa's game changer of the day. All right, let's check on these mushrooms. Yeah, there, see? Most of the, now we've got a nice reduction in with them. So those babies are ready. We'll take the heat off. Nope, wrong one. Take the heat off and get ready to serve these up once we sear off those steaks. Okay, steaks are done out of the sous vide. Let's throw them in the pan. Now, got them in that. Going to put a sear on them here. Now, the hotter you sear and the longer you sear, the more of a crust you get on there. So, here comes personal preference time. Alrighty, fries are done. Get these out here. A little bit of fresh sea salt. Give them a grind. Give them a shake. Another quick toss on there of sea salt. Got your bowl. Hot oil, safety first people. Got some paper towels in there to absorb the extra oil. Got them upside down now. One more grind of sea salt and you got some fries. Alright, so Lisa's gonna hammer these mushrooms on here. Look at that. Look at those mushrooms everybody. A little bit of sauce. Alrighty. Mushrooms dressed on the steak. Fresh green beans going down. Yeah. Those look delicious. Love fresh green beans. Can't beat them. So much better than frozen. Final touch. Some fresh deep fried french fries. And by fresh I mean out of the bag. Normally we make our own. We get russets. We have a potato cutter. But this is pub night, so we wanted to go all authentic. Pub steaks, french fries, some green beans for a little bit of healthiness, and these wonderful salads. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Time to hammer. So there you have it. Super fast video this time. Didn't show you the full cook, so people don't go, 17 minutes of food, there's no way I can watch that. So anyways, we're going to hit this hard, and we're probably even going to have some local craft beer with our pub supper. So take care, everybody, and stay safe. Hope you enjoy.